In this video, we'll give you an overview of how to use your map. The map is a very important feature in ClearPlan, especially for your drivers. So to get to the map from ClearPlan, what you'll need to do is click this green button right here in the top navigation bar. So I'm going to go ahead and click this button. As you can see, the map is filled with different icons. Each one of these icons means something to the driver. The map page is where each of your drivers is going to spend the majority of their time. They're going to use this tool to navigate between jobs and to make sure that they're not missing any jobs that could be important and allow recovery. A very important feature of the maps is this left hand side, which is the filters menu. So I'll give you a quick overview of the filters. At the top we have show zones. This is simply a toggle. Right now we're showing the zones. but We can turn the zones off easily. I'm going to click this. And as you can see the zones disappear. I can click it again to toggle it back to show me my zones. This next feature below is filter by VIN, model, or address. So you can type anything into this filter and the map's going to react. The next box we have down is filter by VIN. In this search box, you can filter by VIN, model, address. So I'm going to type in a search. And I search for Dodge. And as you can see, ClearPlan shows us all the Dodges that we have on the map. So if I click one of these, I'm going to click this 2006 Dodge. Once I click that, you'll see the map updates to show me only this address. So let me take off my search filter. As you can see the map updates. The second I take that filter off the map updates back to what it originally was. If I come down I can filter by zones. So if I click this drop down I can come down here and here's all my zones. So I can click Northeast 1 and it's going to show me only the northeast zone in Las Vegas. So I can click northeast 2 and now I'm seeing two zones in Las Vegas. And I can continue to add zones just simply by clicking. Within this filter drop down all you need to do is click again to take that zone off. As you can see I'm taking zones off. Now the only zone I have is northeast 1. We also have this red label right here. What this does is alert you as the user that you do have a filter on a zone. I'll click this drop down again. I'll scroll up to the top. I'm going to click uncheck all. That takes the filter away and now I'm looking back at my total map. The next filter we have is filter by job. If I click this drop down I have all of these jobs that I can filter by. I can filter by a priority job. I can filter by new job. Confirmed. Voluntary. I can look at only my advanced alerts. And as you can see the map updates to show me only what I've selected. So if I wanted to, I could click Advanced Alerts, and I could show Voluntaries at the same time. And again, the red tab comes up to let me know that I am filtering by jobs. To turn that off, I just simply click on that and it takes it away. Below that we have filter by address. And if I click on this drop down menu, it comes up with all the addresses that I have in ClearPlan. I can filter by home addresses. I can filter by work. I can filter by alternate addresses or I can look at my camera scans. 
my advanced alert day scans and my advanced alert night scans you can also add these in if I wanted to look at advanced alert night scans and work scans I simply click on that now it shows me all of those if I take these filters off just go ahead and click on this each one that's selected click on it and it takes it away the last filter I have down here at the bottom is filter by icons so if I click on this drop down this is going to show me all of my unique icons that I have put into clear plan these are not system icons these are my own personal custom icons that I've put in so to filter by one of these I can click on this unique reminder and it's going to show me all of my unique reminders I can click on field visit and click on anything that's urgent and as you can see in the right hand corner this warning came up that says no address is found for that search criteria which is good clear plan is telling me that I do not have any urgent jobs right now so I'll go ahead and take that off but I can look for motorcycle accounts marine accounts and the vehicle icon the last part in the filters is our reset search so let's say for example that you've filtered by a couple of different zones so we have two zones selected and we're going to filter by job type we're going to filter by new jobs and then we're going to filter by address with work and as you can see in my filters I have three filters on and I know that because of the red badge so if I want to reset those I simply click this reset button down here at the bottom and my map is reset to default thanks for watching the overview on the maps we have a couple more videos on the maps make sure that you watch those because the map is a very important part to running your business successfully and getting more and more repossessions.